Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach, Happy Hanukkah. Such a delight to, to see so many folks here in celebration of this beautiful holiday with the candles burning brightly behind me and in speaking of darkness and of light, uh, both in this season, the season of darkness, and in this season of Hanukkah, and <coughs> also in our Torah portion for this week, Vayeshev. Uh, and I'll share a few words, but really I want the attention to be on the music of tonight. And so uh, soon we will hear some music of this season, the music of this Torah portion uh, with Rachel Funk. But first I wanna frame a little bit of that. This is a time of uh, darkness. We feel it in, in our world now uh, and we feel it uh, in just the season that, uh, that we are in, in such darkness uh, and the lights going out, waking up, and it is dark, uh, and soon the afternoon is fleeting, uh, and we are in the darkness again. A time of, uh, of perhaps despair across the world as we face COVID, and yet it's also a time of light. As Hanukkah teaches, uh, we bring the light and Doche harbe choshech, meat or doche harbe choshech, just a little bit of light pushes off a great darkness, and we see that in so many in so many ways in our world. But really, our Torah portion is sadly one of darkness, and what a Torah portion to have in the midst of Hanukkah with such darkness in it. We learn that we learn the story now of Joseph and the rest of Bereshit of Genesis, this beautiful book of stories descends into the darkness of this story. As Joseph, we are told, uh, tends the flocks of his brothers with his brothers and brings back these uh, Dibatam uh, ra'a el avihem, bad reports to his father about their activities. His brothers, uh, he would, uh, some say, tattletale, gossip, lashon hara. He would bring these stories back to his father. And we learn immediately after, perhaps his father liked that, so much so that Joseph was his favored son, for he was the child of his old age. And so we learn that he makes, he makes Joseph a ketonet pasim, a coat of many colors, an ornamented tunic that shone brightly uh, where you could see him uh, ever so clearly and see the love that Jacob had for Joseph. And yet, the brothers, if we put ourselves into their shoes, we see that their father loved him more than any of uh, the other brothers. And we learn how much they hated Joseph. It uses that strong a word, vayisne'u oto, they hated him so much that they could not speak a friendly word to him or regarding him. So much that they had nothing good to say. And this is how our Torah portion of Hanukkah begins. And so it begins every year as the Torah portion is connected to this holiday intrinsically. This festival of light, Hanukkah, and yet we are in the darkness. <laughs> we learn so much about this season of light. And in preparing for Hanukkah, I had such a delight in just picking up pieces of Torah along the way about this holiday. 
just the name itself, Chag Chanukah Sameach or Chag Urim Sameach, the festival of lights. It is a time of light. We also learn that the light of the Chanukiah that is burning ever so low now here and perhaps at your homes uh, cannot be used for any other purpose. You can't read by it. You can't use it, uh, it says in the Talmud, to count, uh, count your gelt, count your money. You can only uh, use it for the light uh, of holiness and to see the light as God's light. And uh, it says that even if you barely have any money, if you are experiencing poverty, you, Maimonides said that you should sell off a possession in order to be able to get the oil uh, to burn in the Hanukkah lamp. How holy is this holiday? How holy is the act of bringing light? How do we bring more light into uh, the world? Joseph, later in the story, was thrown into a pit, thrown into the darkest of places, the rabbis point out at this Hanukkah season, because of the vibrancy of his coat of many colors. People react differently to coats of many colors, as we're going to see in a moment. And forgive the pun, but how do we avoid the pitfalls of the past generations, the way in which Jacob loved Joseph above others? How do we avoid those pitfalls of darkness for our own generation? How do we avoid those pitfalls of, of Joseph, uh, who was tattletaling and gossiping? How do we avoid those pitfalls of the reaction that his brothers had to him? In other words, how do we bring more light into this world to fulfill more mitzvot, to bring more love, and see the richness of our lives in this season. <laughs>